tech topic for today or societal to topic for today. And with today's topic, what we're going to focus on is, is technology too advanced? Now, this is a debatable topic amongst many teenagers and young adults, adults and older generations like my father. And, you know, what they're talking about is this whole subject of is technology too advanced? And, you know, my parents would explain back in the day of how when they were growing up, um, you know, technology wasn't as advanced and it kind of hinders us socially in today's society. Meaning that, you know, we don't really have too much social skills. We don't really want to go out and talk to people. We want to stay in our homes and pretty much play video games and, you know, not be too social. And it kind of connects with technology because every year when technology gets advanced and new operating systems comes out, new processors come out, and new phones come out, it doesn't, I won't say it directly hinders us, per se, because there's some people who still go out and interact with people, but it kind of does dwindle our social skills, you know, if you, so to speak. You know, if you look at the average teen today growing up, they'll know what Halo is, they'll know what, you know, Xbox 360 is, a PlayStation 3, all these wonderful games that are come out on these systems, but if you talk about a social event, they won't, they won't have any idea of what it is. You know, now, that, now, that doesn't gear towards every uh, person who is a teenager or a young adult because, like I said, there's an exception to every rule. But for, them, for, for some individuals, this, this is something that occurs. Now, I do, think techno I, do, I, I do think technology plays a major part in this. And it's really not the technology's fault because they're just coming out with the products and they're advertising it and we're buying it so we're we're indulged in this you know we 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 we, we take full force in their advertisements so the thing is, is what we have to do is we kind of have to start getting away from this you know getting off of the computer uh, not being on the computer so much you know going out and meeting people talking to people socializing to people meeting up with people you know just getting away from the computer for around two to three hours each day and just doing something more productive because as technology gets more advanced, see what technology is trying to do, especially with the Xbox uh, One, they're trying to make an all-in-one system, a gaming system, a TV, internet, everything. So basically, you don't even have to leave your couch. And that's what technology's purpose is for, and TV is for. That's why they create new shows. That's why they create new um, sitcoms and stuff like that. So they can engage us in the shows, and so we really won't leave the house. So... In terms of technology, everything is getting advanced. And technology doesn't have anything to do, it doesn't have to do with just cell phones and computers. Technology is everything. It's the lights, it's the cables, it's the, it's the you know, the, um, the uh, calculators, you know, everything. Technology revolves around every single thing, believe it or not. And that's why it's so, such a vast area. That's why it's always growing and always expanding. And soon I think it's going to come to where... We're not even going to go outside anymore. We're going to be inside the house. And if you look at past generations, like even when, when I was growing up, when I was 18 and 16 and 15 and 14, my friends would call me and say, yo, Ron, come outside. We're playing football. And I was like, cool, let's go out and play. You know, let's have fun. And that's what I used to do because I didn't just always want to be cooked up in the house. But however, there was a time when, you know, I was going through sixth and fifth grade when I didn't want to go outside. And I didn't want to play, you know, I didn't want to play football or baseball or anything like that. I wanted to stay cooped up in the house. And my friends would just tell me, hey, you know, come outside, you know, let's play. And what that, what that, what that allowed me to see is that there's a bigger world outside of playing video games and staying inside the house and watching TV and just, you know, on being on the internet and being on the internet all day. It allowed me to see that there's a bigger purpose in life to be outside, to play around, to get fresh air, to to engage with different um, people within my community, talk to people, learn learn new new walks of life from different people, walk in their shoes for a little while. You know, it just allows me to see that. And when you're inside and you're playing games and you're just surrounded by all this different technology, you're less inclined to go outside and play with people and learn about life and stuff like that. You're just stuck in the house. You're not learning anything. So we have to get away from this technology. Now, now I know... You know, as a YouTuber and as a partner, it's kind of contradicting coming out of my mouth because, you know, I'm uploading videos frequently and you guys are like, well, why are you, you know, you're, you're giving this good speech, Ron, but you're still uploading videos. That's true. You know, I'll take that L. But the thing is, is that when 
you're doing it for a cause, you know, like for example, I'm doing it for my subscribers, you know, I'm doing it for many different reasons, you know, but also even outside of YouTube, I also have a personal life as well too, where I go out, hang out with some of my friends, see movies, interact with people, go to social events, you know, there's a lot of different things that I do where I can engage in different activities. And, you know, I was even reading an article yesterday and this guy, you know, he was a teen that was 16 years old. He was playing video games and he actually had a heart member and his parents didn't know about it. Why did they probably not know about it? Because he was always locked in his room. He was always playing video games, never talked to his family. And he just pretty much was an outcast to his whole family. You know, I mean, I guess he would have dinner with him. But besides that, he would stay in his room pretty much all day. And this guy pretty much, he died. From playing video games, I know I know a lot of people would say, oh, you know, it's not that big of a deal. It's not that big of a deal, but it, it, it is. It is. You know, there was this one teen. Another story. There was one teen who stayed on the internet for 24, 24 hours or something like that, and he died. And it just goes to show you that this can happen to any one of us if we don't take the right precautions and we don't, you know, get out the house and see what else is out there. And that's all a part of life. And if we let technology, which technology is going to continue to grow, it's going to continue to become a you know vast, you know marketing, you know uh, genre or whatever you want to call it, and it's going to it's going to continue to be successful. What we have to do is we have to monitor how we use our technology because if we keep getting on technology and we keep using technology, our social skills are going to start to dwindle, which I can see it within my generation and within my other generation. You know, like if you ask them who some famous famous poets are, they won't know it. Or if you ask them who's fam who some famous scientists are, they don't know it. But if you ask them who, who's the leader of Halo, Master Chief, you know, who's the first character of Dragon Ball Z, Goku, you know, they, they can name all those, but they can't name a character or a good icon within our generation or within the past couple of generations outside of the mainstream ones. So... That's just my thoughts on technology and how it's becoming so advanced. Um, you know, I think we definitely have to get away from it. Like I said, there are some steps that we can do to kind of get away from it, but we have to come together as a generation and just kind of segment our way through getting away from these type of issues, especially with uh, technology becoming so advanced. So those are my thoughts. Strapped Up 24, give you know, giving you another societal discussion, and I'll see you guys later in another video. Peace, sign out of Stiggle.